Hi, it's Cheryl from That's What She Said, and I just wanted to do a quick visual for you on how to install fonts onto your computer. So I have a PC, and I purchased um, these fonts from Font Bundles. They actually have this great dollar sale every so often, and you can get awesome fonts for a dollar. And then I use store credit, and they actually just knocked down to 90 cents. So um, totally worth it. I can leave a link down at the bottom of this video for that. Um, so I'm going to install this Coffee and Donuts font duo and I just wanted to show you from start to finish how to do that. So in font bundles, this is very similar for any other font program, font website. Um, they normally, you know, they'll have the font and then they'll have a download button. So here I'm going to download my files and it's going to download as a zip. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see right here, it downloaded into my download bar. If you don't have a download bar, um, it's a preference you can set up on your computer. It most likely will go to your download folder. So if you just open up your Explorer, you should be able to find that pretty easily and then locate the file. So once I download it, I'm going to double click on this zip file and it's going to open up that folder for me and you can see here that there's a folder for Mac but I'm on a PC so I'm just gonna click and open the coffee and donuts folder and once that opens you'll see there's several different files in that folder um, this JPEG here is simply just an image of what the font looks like maybe it's working here, while that's loading, I'll come back over here. Um, there's an internet shortcut. I don't really use those at all. There's a frequently asked questions. There's the license. This right here will tell you where and when you can use this font. That's very important. Um, and then right here, you will see the fonts. So there's coffee and donuts, two fonts here. And this is a good example. I talk about it in my how to download fonts post, the difference between an open type and a true type font. Um, basically, true type was the first way we did fonts, and then open type uses true type but has just um, some additional capabilities. So, in for my uh, um, personal preference, I normally download the open type fonts. I use my fonts in Illustrator and things where you can use glyphs, and so um, that font is how you get to access all those extras. So for the coffee regular, I'm going to click on the open type font, double click it, and you'll see this box that opens up, and it shows you, gives you um, a view of the font. Simply click install, and that was it. It's now installed on my computer. So simple, right? So I'm going to close out that box and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to um, download the donuts part. Same thing, double click, click install. It takes just a second and then you're finished. That is, that's it. Like that's all there is to it. So let me bring up, this is that photo. See, this is the the image um, in that file that it was taking slow to load. So right now here, I'm totally done with this folder. I can close it. Um, I do recommend that you organize your fonts on your computer. Just make a folder, label it fonts, and then take this entire folder and dump it in there. In case you ever change computers, you want to access it for something else, who knows? You have them all in one place. It's so much better than trying to go through and search them all. So I'm going to close that. Okay, so now that I've closed everything out, I'm just going to show you real quick for an example in a Word document. So to make this, so we can see it a little bit better, um, I'm just going to type, ooh, maybe I'm not, donut. And then if you come up here, the font name started with KL. So KL donuts. And oops, I needed to highlight that first. Boop. And there we've got that donut font. And then if I wanted to do a coffee, then I can change this and do the KL coffee. See? And it changes the font right there. So it's um, incredibly, incredibly easy to install on your computer and use like this in a Word document. Okay, here I will show you how to access the font that you just downloaded in Silhouette Studio. So it's very simple. So for example, I'm just going to click the text tool and I'm just going to write my name. And I will just make it bigger so it's easier to see over here. Okay, so just use the text tool, write your name, come over here 
and we're going to click this little A over here and that opens the text style panel. So as you can see here, this is how we'll style our text. And there's two ways to do it. You can either scroll through the list right here. Luckily we used Believer, which is towards the beginning and also in recently used. Um, or you can also click up here in this school, um, little search bar here and you can type it in. So here you see I just typed it in, clicked enter, and it changed my name here into the Believer font. So simple as that. Then you know you can go ahead and obviously format any way else that you need to using this text layer panel. But that is how you access the installed fonts in Silhouette Studio. Okay, and now I will show you how to use the installed fonts on Cricut Design Space. So we'll just simply click a text box and write our text. I'll just use my name and it defaults to this Cricut Sans right here. You're going to come up here to the font drop down menu and you're going to open that up. And you can find it a few ways. So you can obviously search. We could type in Believer right here and pull it up and select it. Um, I also wanted to show you here, if I cancel out of that, you can obviously take your time and scroll through and find it. Or these filters up here are really helpful. So this will give you all the fonts. This will give you the system fonts, which means the fonts that are on your computer only. And then this, these are the Cricut fonts, the ones that are um, a part of Cricut Design Space. So here I could just even click System, and that would just sort me. These are all the fonts that are on my computer, and I can search from there. But obviously, for time's sake, I always find it easier to just type it in here and select it. And now with Cricut Design Space, it doesn't, whenever you're using a script font like this, it doesn't automatically kern the letters together how you need them to be. Um, so you will need to adjust here using the letter spacing to get that to look like the correct font. So that is something um, that is particular in Cricut Design Space. Silhouette Studio and Word, they are um, they're able to put the letters together like they should be here. I'll just um, show you real quick. So I normally just start here you know, like so, and then essentially I would ungroup these and I'd probably separate that Y um, and R a little bit from each other. But So you have to mess with it manually in Cricut Design Space, but the other two, they basically do it for you.